Hello everyone and welcome to the Networking Basics mini lecture series. In this mini lecture you will learn how to subnet an address into variably sized subnets to meet the requirements of a given network. You will learn to perform VLSM subnetting using the slash 24 subnetting chart. The example we'll, we will use uses a, a starting address of 174.14.22.0/24 that will be subnetted into appropriately sized subnets to meet the requirements of the network topology shown on the next page. Assume that the addresses or sorry, uh, assume that addresses will be needed uh, for switches and access points allowing network administrators and operators uh, to connect remotely for the purposes of configuring or managing. Our very first step before we can begin subnetting is to analyze the network topology, count the number of subnets and number of required hosts uh, in each subnet. Uh, here um, is our topology showing exactly eight subnets. Uh, the Ottawa guest, Ottawa admin, we have three, three ones, each requiring two IPs, the Montreal admin, Toronto and Toronto net ops, Toronto data center. Uh, if we, uh, let's count the Ottawa admin one and the same procedure or the same uh, uh, same procedure applies for all others. So, for example, in the Ottawa admin, we have five IP telephones plus one server, uh, giving us six, plus four desktops, ten IP addresses, plus two printers, twelve, thirteen uh, with the switch, and fourteen with the router interface. The same uh, procedure applies to all the others. We are now ready to move to step two, which is to list the host requirements from the largest to the smallest. So here we're showing for each network the number of required hosts that we have counted. Here is the VLM process. Probably in order here to explain that the objective or purpose of the VLSM process is to size subnets appropriately so to reduce or minimize uh, any unused um, or wasted addresses in each of the subnets. This is different than the equal size subnets which uh, where we create subnets uh, based on the largest subnet requirement and then uh, assign uh, where each uh, subnet is then assigned a, a subnet to having uh, um, potentially uh, uh, a large number of uh, addresses exceeding uh, what uh, the actual requirements may be. So the VLSM subnetting process uh, is an iterative process. You start the subnetting process uh, by subnetting for for the largest subnet requirement first. You then repeat this process moving uh, to the second largest subnet requirement. And again, you repeat this process until you have subnetted for the last network segment. All right, let's start. Let's find the recipe in the subnetting chart that meets the requirements for the largest network while minimizing any unused addresses. Recall that our largest network requirement was for Ottawa admin, which uh, needed 14 hosts. Um, if we look at the different recipes here, we have exactly 14 hosts here, which is the recipe that meets our requirements. 30 hosts would not meet the requirements as it uh, wastes too many or has too many unused addresses. Therefore, for the Ottawa uh, admin, we would assign this subnet. Uh, we would assign a slash 28. So when you have found the recipe, highlight the subnet in the subnetting chart 
and block out any subnets that include the range included in the subnet we have just allocated. See the next page for an illustration. Here we are showing the subnetting chart after having uh, performed the first iteration, that is after having assigned the subnet to the largest uh, subnet uh, or to the, uh, to the network having the largest subnet requirements. So as indicated in the previous slide, we have blocked out anything that includes or any, uh, uh, any subnet that is included in uh, the subnet that uh, we have just reserved and leaving everything that is, uh, has been, uh, leaving everything else available uh, for our next iteration of subnetting. We are now ready to proceed with uh, subnetting the second largest uh, requirement. In uh, this particular case, uh, we determined that uh, the Toronto Data Center is the uh, network with the second largest uh, requirement at 13. So we will find the next available subnet in our chart that meets the requirements. Uh, for this network, minimizing again any unused address. Matching the requirements for the uh, Toronto data center at 13 hosts, we match the slash 28 again, uh, giving us 14 uh, and uh, also uh, meeting the requirements uh, or the requirement of uh, wasting as little uh, or as few addresses as possible. So our the subnet for subnet ID for the Toronto data data center will be dot sixteen slash twenty eight. Now let's proceed uh, with blocking out any addresses uh, that are or any subnets that are included in this range, and we've already done that. Uh, so now let's move on to the uh, uh, third iteration which is to subnet uh, for the Ottawa guest uh, network, which has a requirement for 10, uh, 10 usable IP addresses. So again, uh, let's look at the recipe that meets this requirement while minimizing any unused addresses. So again, that's it's this slash or the 14, 14 hosts, uh, which gives us a the next one is dot 32. So we will be assigning uh, the dot 32 uh, slash 28 to the Ottawa guest. Uh, now, now let's block out any addresses that include uh, the range uh, that will be used by this subnet. So we're going to block out, uh, oops, block out the dot 32. Now let's move on to our next uh, our next uh, subnet requirement, which is the Montreal admin uh, needing nine uh, hosts. Uh, let's again find the recipe that meets this requirement, and lo and behold, uh, the slash twenty eight uh, meets the requirements again. Uh, therefore, let's uh, let's do this. All right, so let's highlight the dash dot forty eight and block out any addresses that include and that include that uh, the usable IP address range and they've already been blocked out. Okay, now let's move on to the next uh, subnetting uh, requirement uh, which is the Toronto Net Ops needing four uh, usable IP addresses. Uh, what recipe meets this requirement? Uh, so 14 is too much. Uh, we'd have too much waste because we have uh, here, uh, we have six hosts uh, which meet, which is the, uh, the optimized uh, recipe if you want. And in here we shall assign the dot 64, the dot 64 um, subnet ID to the Toronto Net Ops. Again, we need we must block out any subnets that include this IP address range. So let's do. Uh, so here, 
this includes it this includes and uh, this one as well all right let's move on to our next uh, network uh, the next one are our three uh, so we have our three necks or the the following networks are have equal uh, or have the same uh, requirements they each need uh, two IP addresses uh, so we have the Montreal to Toronto WAN, the Ottawa to Montreal WAN, and the Ottawa to Toronto WAN. All right, so let's find the first usable. And the first usable is first usable is the dot seventy two. So we'll assign that to the Montreal to Toronto. Then we want the dot seventy six uh, for the uh, Ottawa to Montreal and our third link, oh, we've already highlighted it, apologies, would be the uh, dot .80, which we'd, we had assigned to the Ottawa to Toronto WAN link. Now, let's, uh, as we did with uh, each, with every other subnet preceding this, let's block out any subnet ID that includes uh, the, the addresses uh, that we've just uh, allocated. Okay, so let's, uh, let me find the correct pointer here. All right. So we want to block anything uh, that includes 74, uh, 74, I can't, 74, 78, and 82. All right. So block this one out. Uh, we can't use this. We can't use this one. And that's, uh, that's it. Now I will show uh, all of the addresses that remain, uh, that are available, uh, should uh, new networks uh, be added uh, to the existing topology. So uh, everything that I'm highlighting in blue is, uh, is actually available uh, should the network expand uh, for whatever reason. Everything crossed out in red here uh, indicates that you know these addresses uh, are no longer usable as they have been uh, allocated to specific subnets, um, and uh, that's it. Uh, so we are done with uh, VLSM. Uh, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to send me an email. Now let's examine the addressing table result resulting from our VLSM subnetting. Uh, in particular, let's look at, let's examine the waste. Uh, if you compare the waste with VLSM uh, versus the waste with equal uh, size subnets, as uh, seen in a, one of my videos, uh, you will see, for example, that uh, on uh, WAN point-to-point -point links where we need two addresses, uh, our subnetting or slash 30 provides us exactly what we need resulting in a zero unused addresses. Uh, thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon.